Enslaved African Americans who lived in the South understood that the North represented freedom. Their best chance at leaving behind the cruelties of slavery was to escape to the Northern Free States, or Canada, where slavery was outlawed. Around the mid-1800s, a network began to form to help enslaved people escape to the North. This network was called the Underground Railroad. It was not an actual railroad. There were no trains or publicized routes. Instead, it was a system supported by abolitionists, people who wanted to end slavery. All the travel on the Underground Railroad was done in secret, and every movement was made with great risk. Many forces were working against them, including professional slave catchers who used hunting dogs to find them. If the fleeing African Americans were caught and returned to their captors, they could face severe punishment, torture, or even death. To escape on the Underground Railroad, many African Americans followed conductors who acted as guides, repeatedly ushering groups north. The most famous conductor, Harriet Tubman, made 19 trips back and forth on the Underground Railroad, risking her own freedom every time. According to lore, many freedom seekers would read star patterns in the night sky to help navigate through the darkness, relying on the Big Dipper and the North Star to guide them to the next safe house. Safe houses were homes where willing families would hide the escaping African Americans as they stopped to rest. But remaining hidden was only part of the danger on the Underground Railroad. The physical demands of the journey were risky as well. Escapees had to walk 10 to 20 miles at a time through rough terrain and cross icy waterways to avoid main roads. And the journey to freedom often separated families. It was rare that large families could escape together. Children and the elderly posed a greater risk of capture. Once the hopeful men and women finally made it to a free state, their quality of life greatly depended on where they ended up. Many states in the North were segregated and offered little opportunity for African Americans. Though the freedom seekers faced new hardship and dangers, they could face them as free people. 